Good morning from Athens. It is not morning. <laughs> it is currently, oof, oh God, I need to get going. <laughs> it's not morning. It is almost 2 p.m. I need to get my ass going. So we're going to some thrift stores today. We are traveling through Europe for two and a half months and I decided to do something quirky and not carry any clothes. So I basically have this maxi dress a pair of black jeans, one black turtleneck, a turtleneck sweater, and one trench coat, and that's it for two and a half months. So I really need to get some clothes. I just thought it would be fun to thrift as I travel, that way I can buy stuff I actually wear, because I usually end up overpacking and never wearing the stuff I pack anyway, so this is a fun way to just build my wardrobe while traveling, get some items from some cool cities, and... Honestly, I just love making my life harder than it should be. So yeah, so I have a list of stuff I'm going to buy. I don't want to over thrift. I'm going to be conscious as I thrift, mostly because I've got luggage and I don't want to have too much to lag around as we go about. But I'm so excited. It's a beautiful day to find some clothes. So let's go and see what happens. off at the most popular store thrift store in Athens the kilo shop you basically buy stuff by the kilo they weigh it and you buy it and they had quite a lot of stuff I tried on this leather trench coat I didn't love how it fit so I ended up leaving it tried on an owl sweatshirt which now that I see it I wish I'd pick this up because this is so cute and they had a very colorful selection of denim I was like a magpie but when I tried on some of them I was so discouraged I felt like I looked like a clown so I didn't try any more jeans at this store I then went to the men's section and tried graphic tees I loved this one especially cropped maybe I got it maybe I didn't stay tuned to the end for the haul so I did end up buying some stuff at the kilo shop I however did feel like it was super overpriced I paid 77 euros for like five items so that was kind of too expensive for me so I moved on to the next shop and this was a reset thrift shop so this was like a fever dream from the y2k personified and my goodness i was in love everything y2k from the tracksuits we wore to school to the jordans and harry potter was playing in the background there was a vintage playstation and lots and i mean lots and lots of hard rock cafe t-shirts it was literally like a hard rock cafe dream and i found this vintage levi's jacket i loved it immediately i saw it but when i tried it on it was a bit too oversized for me so i ended up not getting it but i do want to go back and get it now it was 40 euros which is not cheap but vintage here is not cheap in athens they do proper vintage most stores and it's not cheap lots of Levi's and my goodness all these jeans I didn't find a single one that fit me so it's very very sad but lots and lots of Levi's and the price range was like from 35 euros to like 60 euros so you definitely don't get like goodwill prices here the owner does hand select stuff and he is obsessed with Y2K as you can tell so this is like hand selected with love and the prices definitely reflect that but I have no problem with that vintage is more expensive in most places as you can see the 90s were well represented in this store he had like cool world of warcraft t-shirts lots of graphic tees champion sweatshirts and i found this velour tracksuit i wish this fit me well because i just wanted to take this home with me but the pants didn't exactly fit me right so i ended up leaving it and look at this dressing room if this is not y2k personified i don't know what is so i was absolutely in love with the vibe of this store and i'm definitely going to go back so the next store is a bird cage and this is like a proper vintage store it is so cute it was well organized super cute stuff this dress did not fit me sadly but i wanted to take it home with me 
colorful cardigans and I spoke to the owner and she basically even has some stuff her grandma used to wear and her grandpa. There was lots of love that had gone into selecting the items at this store and you could see that. I did find this cute vintage cardigan and I'm going to tell you right now, I definitely got it. It was about 25 euros. So I've seen that stores here are kind of more on the expensive side, but they're like proper vintage stores. It's not like a Goodwill. It's like proper vintage and I was having a lot of fun selecting stuff like the colors the patterns it genuinely felt like I was shopping in the 50s 60s and I loved that vibe this store was so well organized so well decorated super cozy super cute and I found the price points to be okay the most expensive item I saw was a jacket for like 150 euros but everything else seemed to be like 25 euros 30 euros look at this denim jacket I should be taken away from denim but I overall really loved my time here and I highly recommend this store and it's women owned so what's not to love about that so I went to three more thrift stores after the birdcage and the first one was yesterday's bread and sons and this one had two stores not for two the decor of the first yesterday's bread and sons was so cool it had this locker room style decor one of the doors was a fridge door and the changing rooms were like showers with the whole shower head it was super cool i loved it i wish i'd explored this store a bit more i spent a lot of time trying to find a pair of jeans that would fit me I did not find any that fit me and by the time I was moving on to the next sections they were closing because the guy said he had to pick up his son from school so I just couldn't explore but from what I saw the prices were the same as other stores the jeans were like 30 euros the jackets ranged from 45 euros to like 200 euros and I really loved the vibe of this store I felt it was very quirky very fun to be in and I just wish I'd had more time in there so after I left yesterday's bread and sons I walked like a minute and there was a second yesterday's bread and sons and I was like hmm what's happening over here so that store had like 50% off everything except a few selected items and from what I could see it was the clearance stock from the other shop in this shop. So things that didn't sell in the first store, which is more premium, more like selected, went to the store for clearance. Everything was half off. I got three cardigans for 25 euros, so that's quite cheap. But the selection didn't feel as curated or as special as the first one. So the second one felt a bit more like a clearance section and you might get lucky and find something. But chances are it's already very selected and the pickings were very slim. So after that, I went to New Skin Vintage and New Skin Vintage was super cool. The owner was super edgy. She was in all leather. I wish I'd taken like a photo of her, but she was not comfortable being on camera. But the selection here was very edgy, I'd say. Lots of leather stuff, lots of very bold corsets, lots of leather skirts, leather stripper stuff. It was very very edgy and lots of vintage bags as well that were so cute but nothing really caught my eye enough for me to take home but there was a wide selection of bags and I loved being in this store I felt like she had lots of denim lots of everything a little bit of everything which was really cool and I did manage to bag something from the store so now I'm going to show you the stuff I got from all these thrift stores so we're going to start with the kilo shop and stuff I got from there so the first thing I got was this denim jacket and it is so thick and so cool so it's originally from Gap and it's in a size large it is quite thick denim and exactly what I was looking for because I wanted a black denim jacket so the price of this jacket was 35.70 so basically 36 euros which is quite expensive for a denim jacket, but I really loved it. It's large, it's oversized, and I am a sucker for denim. So this I think was a good find. It was on the higher pricier side, but it's okay. I'm not gonna buy another denim jacket. You guys have to stop me. I can't buy another denim jacket. The next item was this t-shirt. I'm sure you guys knew I would get this one. So this one was 13 euros. 
again a bit too expensive for what it is because it's just a graphic tee but i thought it was really cool and it was cute and i just i couldn't help myself actually when i was at the kilo shop basically when i went to the counter i expected her to be like the clothes are really light it's going to be affordable because you pay by the kilo and who would have thought that this is like how many kilos is this this is one kilo for a t-shirt one kilo i was like i don't understand why this is so expensive but it's okay i'm already at the counter and my anxiety does not allow me to speak for myself so i ended up getting it and i think i will get a lot of wear out of this t-shirt so a bit on the price side as well for a t-shirt but it's okay it's not too bad 12 euros i feel like is not too bad so this is one I kind of regret buying, mostly because I didn't love it. But I thought the newspaper style print was very cool. This t-shirt was 7 euros, so a bit more reasonably priced. I think I can wear this with a cute pair of jeans and some sneakers or some boots and it'll be cute. So I might kind of regret buying this, but I already have it, so I'm just going to make sure I wear it. So I got a champion sweatshirt and this one was, no, no, oh my God. So this one was 21 euros, 21.60, almost 22 euros. No, no ma'am. That is actually quite expensive. So this was 22 euros. It's a champion sweatshirt. It has a champion logo. And what I saw after I left the store is that it has a hole underneath one of the arms. So it's got a tiny hole that I might have to fix. I don't have my sewing machine with me, so I might have to just find a way to hand sew this. But for 22 euros, ma'am? No, no, this is really overpriced. Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to wear this, but that's really, really expensive for a sweatshirt. Next, I'm going to show you what I got from Reset Thrift Shop. So I got this Breaking Bad t-shirt. I really like this t-shirt, but I think I'll be gifting it to my brother, mostly because he is obsessed with Breaking Bad and GTA. And I think he'll make for a very vintage -y, nice gift. So this was 15 euros, but I ended up paying 10 euros for it. So I got a cute discount and we love saving that coin. So I only ended up getting this mostly because everything I tried on didn't fit me how I wanted it to fit me. So that's such a shame. I do wish I had time to go back, but the store was really cool. Got a cool graphic tee and that's that. So moving on to the birdcage. Are you surprised? This cardigan is so cute the detail on this it has a cinched waist at the bottom i really really love this cardigan i did get it for 25 euros which again super expensive but this is like proper vintage at least it feels like proper vintage i feel like someone's grandma well maybe it's too cool for grandma but i feel like someone definitely wore this in like the 80s 90s maybe earlier than the 90s maybe the 70s it's so cool it won't keep me warm but it looks stylish as fuck so yeah the owner at the birdcage was so nice she gave me this wallet and look at that it's so beautiful and she gave it to me for free because she said she wanted me to remember her and i really appreciated the personal touch and i have a cute wallet tina thank you so much for the cute bag i love it and you guys should definitely check out the birdcage if you're in athens highly recommend by the way all the stores i visited will be linked in the description bar down below so if you want to check them out if you want to see what they post what they have on their shops they will be linked down below so make sure you check that out moving on to yesterday's bread and sons from the main store i really didn't get anything but from the half off store i got some cardigans and the first one is this tommy hilfiger kind of zip up sweater it's really warm and thick and it's good quality and i got this for eight euros it was half off i think originally it was 16 
and I got it for eight, so quite a steal. I also got this cardigan I'm wearing, and this one was also eight euros. Every cardigan was about eight euros, and this one I got mostly because I love the color. So I also got one more cardigan, and the reason I got this one is I felt it was very Chanel inspired, and I love that. It feels very hipster grandma and I'm here for it and it was eight euros as well so quite a steal in my opinion and the last item I'm going to be showing you guys today is from New Skin Vintage and it's basically this corset top so it's kind of like crochet at the top and on the inside it's mesh I paid 19 euros for it which I feel like is kind of expensive but it's also a very unique top that I wouldn't find anywhere else I think I hope <laughs> wearing lingerie as tops is unmatched and I think this will add to that vibe very beautifully so there we have it those are all the things I picked up from the thrift stores here in Athens so what I will say is thrift stores here are not thrift stores I went to over six shops and it's basically more vintage shopping I'd say if you're looking for very curated pieces you definitely will find something here in Athens but when I was speaking to the guy from reset thrift shop he was telling me that the second-hand market hasn't really picked up yet people don't really shop second-hand it's not a thing yet in Athens which makes sense because all the stores were more vintage stores some were trying to be second-hand shops like the kilo shop and yesterday's bread and sons but i feel like the prices were still really expensive so i hope you guys enjoyed thrift shopping with me or rather vintage shopping with me this is not what i expected going in but i'm really happy i got to experience it and i'm looking forward to thrift shopping some more in some other countries this marks the end of this video thank you so much for watching i thoroughly enjoyed your company and see you in the next video bye